Hello friends, my name is Olatun Dimitri. You're watching Dictions in TV series. I am here to present a point that says you cannot change. You can work on yourself to make yourself into the kind of person you admire and respect. You can control and discipline yourself to get the right standards. For others, you can do a thing by doing it in a loving way, not by the heart way. Thanks. Hello and welcome to Addiction Zone Speech Game. My name is Catherine Price and this is the final episode on this season. On this episode, we're going to have three players battle for the first and second position. Let's welcome on stage Francis Daniel from Kate's Campus. A round of applause. Let's welcome again Onifade Rokibat from Alhamdulillah School. Let's welcome Onifade Rokibat from Alhamdulillah School. Welcome contestants, you're playing Diction Zone Speech Game and you're here because you are going to battle for the first, second, and third position. On that note, you're going to spell 15 words in one minute. 15 words in one, one minute. Do you understand that? Let's start with the spell. Contestant number 031, are you ready? Okay. Spell the word stretch. Take that again, please. Spell the word through. Trouble. Peace. Circus. Tuesday. Take it again. Guess. Scratch. Again? Doesn't. Picnic. Ventures. Publication. Wow. The time is up. Thank you, contestant number 031. Contestant number 004, are you ready? Are you ready? You have to speak up, okay? Spell the word language. M-A-N-G-U-A-G-E. Mammal. M-A-N-N-A-N. Desert. D-O-E-S-N. Apostrophe Favorite. F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E. Thoughtful. F-O-R-T. Thoughtful. F O. C-H-O-U Stomach S-T-O-M-A-C-H Pattern P-A-T-T-E-R-N Pleasure P-A-T-A-S-U-R-E Numeral N-U-M-E-R-A-N Neither N-I-T-A-T-R Conferring Conferring C-O-N Receptacle R-E-C-E-P-T-I-C-N-E Fireproof V-I-V-E Fireproof F-I-R-E-P-I-O-N The time is up. Thank you, contestant number 
four, contestant number 069. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Spell the word way. W E I G H. Zoology. Z O O. Z O O L O G Y. Corpse. C A U R S. Corpse. Corpse. C O R P E S. Compartment. C O M P A R T M E N T. Perspective. P R O P R O S P C T O R. Budget. B D G E T. Rhythm. R H Y T H M. Pieces. P I E C E S. Relocate. R E L O C A T E. Forkful. F O R K F U L. Island. I S L A N D. Inventor. I N V E N T O R. Journey. G O U R N E Y. Suitcase. S U I T C A S E. Squeeze. S Q U E Z Z E Z E squeeze S Q U E Z E. Thank you, contestant number zero six nine. We'll take a break and we'll be back. Hello friends, welcome to Diction Zone School Health and Etiquette. Friends, how are you doing in school? Do you always have low scores in your assessments because you find it hard to remember your lesson topics when they matter the most? Or perhaps you read for very long hours but you still can't remember? It's alright friends, don't get so frustrated. I'm here to help you with five tips on how to recall easily. Mmm, sounds great, right? Tip number one, turn every word into a picture. Allow yourself to visualize every word as an image. That way, your mind becomes more fond of the lesson. Two, use memory spots. Think of places you always visit and create a memory with your lesson in that environment. Tip number three, use rhymes. You can create rhymes with your lesson topics. That way you find them easier to remember. Tip number four, explore the power of acronyms and mnemonics. These are quite useful ways to help remember your lessons. 
Tip number five, repetition. Yes, repeat your lesson topics and give them a meaning in your own words. That way you can always talk about them in the way that you best understand. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips are valuable. Bye for now. Friends, welcome to Diction Zone Story Time. Friends, how much do you love having tea? I know you love it so much, but have you ever experienced the special kind of tea I'll be talking about today? The afternoon tea. Yes, the afternoon tea. What is an afternoon tea? Let's take a guess. Mm. Is it a tea drank during lunch or a light kind of meal eaten in the late afternoon? 
Which do you choose? Mm. Mm. You'd get to find out the real answer after the story. So, let's get started. The afternoon tea, in its most basic form, is a light meal. But, let's be honest, it is far more than that in practice. Dainty sandwiches with the crust cut off, doilies lining the plates, silver platters, shining china cups, small cakes so pretty you don't really want to eat them, except you really do, and a high-end view to the whole thing. Traditionally, the afternoon tea consists of three courses with savouries, sweet and tea served, scones with jam, and clotted cream. But you can have various items on the menu and still create the perfect afternoon tea. A teapot is a staple on the table, usually gleaming silver on its steaming with delicious tea. The presentation is what makes it so super special. There's a reason those stacked silver cake trays are so popular and it's because they add a totally different feel to your afternoon and make you feel like you're dining in the Victorian or Elizabethan England amongst the aristocrats. If you squint your eyes, you might even feel like you're in Bridgerton. For many people, an afternoon tea is the ultimate treat. Not only is it a great filler before dinner, but it's also an occasion in its own right. Yippee! Friends, I've come to the end of today's story. Did you enjoy it? Now let's answer this question again. What is an afternoon tea? Is it a tea drunk in the afternoon or a light meal eaten in the late afternoon which includes cake and a cup of tea? Did I hear you say a light meal? I knew you would do it right this time. That was correct. An afternoon tea is a light meal eaten in the late afternoon. Until I come your way again, my name is Catherine Praise and Cherio. Anger is an acid that can do more harm on the vessel in which it is stored than on anything on which it is poured. So, do not store anger and be exceptional. Music